All right, what's up guys? Good morning. It's uh, 7 a.m. I'm continuing to drink my Starbucks from last night. I went to bed around 11.30, 12 o'clock, I think. Got a good night's rest. Woke up about an hour ago. Just gonna start in on the edit. I was wondering if that was ever gonna happen. It took so long. So I still have a little bit of ways to go. Haven't even finished laying the clips on the timeline, but I'm a little further than I was yesterday. So hopefully I can knock out this edit today and get it up. Got all these like lights on because I woke up at 5 a.m. Slept on the couch. Jess will not be happy when she hears that. And I guarantee you that's one of the first things she'll ask me. Brad, when I pick her up today, Brad, did you sleep on the couch? So just peel it back with a butter knife. In the toaster. Oh shoot, I dropped something behind me. Toaster kind of needs plugged in. There we go. So I actually think I'm like just about done the vlog. Yes! I love finishing stuff, I love accomplishing stuff, and I'll get to post it as a reasonable hour, which is even better. So now my hope is that this video will do well. But the more I do it, the more I realize I'm realizing that I appreciate everybody that I have that watches the channel, but I have to put them up with no expectation anymore. No understand, like with full understanding that they're probably not gonna do well, regards to like view count. I think for the most part, the videos are good, but when I, I'm not gonna check, you know, stats on the video, cause there's just no point. I can't use that as a barometer as to whether they're good or they're not good. So I've come to terms with that now. So when I hit upload, I just wash my hands with all the other stuff. Vlog is posted, so that's one major thing done today. Already did the dishes. I've already cleaned the living room. My office is still a mess, but that's okay. Just, just message me. So I'm gonna go get her at. I'm gonna try to be there for like 2.30, 2.45. So now I have a timeline, so now I can go grab some coffee. I wasn't able to come up with a GIF to get Jerry, which is unfortunate, because I wanted to get him something, but it's not like I'm never gonna see him so I still have time to get him a gift if there's something I come across that I think he'll like. But I just think getting him a gift card, I can understand why the staff would do that, but I spent a lot of time with him. We had a lot of conversations. I should have tuned in a little better. But he doesn't really talk about things that he needs. And I don't think he needs much of anything, so it's kind of up to me to get a little creative and come up with something that I think will show my appreciation for what he did for me and how he helped me. And I, I'm pretty sure I can come up with something, but it's gonna take more than a day or a few hours. I need some time to really dive into it. So that's what I'm gonna do. So for now, I'm just gonna bring him some coffee. I'll bring, you know, one of those jugs for the guys and maybe grab some donuts. I think it's too late in the day to get some pizzas, but maybe I could leave them some cash and they can order it. Jake bought me a, a bubble tea. I don't know if he bought it for me, but they had an extra when I went to pick up Jess. So thank you, Jake. It was very good. But now. I must get a Milona strawberry, the best one you can buy. Milona, Milona, oh Milona. I started watching Batman Begins. It's the first movie. Ooh, this one is very good from the story to the acting in it. Oh, amazing movie. What's up, guys? Good morning. Today is day one with the new assistant. Obviously, I can't record this individual, but I will definitely be checking in with you guys to let you know how my day is going. So, I have a few nerves. I'm, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm gonna make the most of it. I'm gonna embrace the change, because you have to, right? I don't wanna think that anything is gonna be bad having this individual now in my store versus having Jerry, but we'll see how today goes. We'll kind of update you guys on the day as it goes. It's really early, don't mind my train of thought. I'm just I'm still trying to wake up here. I didn't even want to go to work today. All right, guys, the first day is down. New assistant update. It was not bad, like, honestly, a little more efficient than I expected. Obviously not knowing him, you don't really have an expectation. You're kind of just like, all right, I'm gonna play everything minute by minute, hour by hour. Definitely very particular. Otherwise though, did a good job, did the work. He's very thorough, very particular, which I like. We'll all see how that plays out in the long haul. 
understanding that you know I was very clear to him like this is what I want this is what the way I need things to go for me to be able to operate in in a good sound environment so he seems like he understands that which is great uh, but like I said this is only the first day and it was like for five hours so we have to see over the long haul like after a month or two months right me and Jess are going for a walk but we're not going for a walk in the area we're actually gonna drive somewhere find a nice chill place because it is nice outside and there's no reason to be inside we can go out and enjoy this beautiful day show you guys how nice it is look at that it's cold though for sure it's cold but you know we could bundle up we could dress warm look at that bridge man holy is that a train track i think right it's old it's like Nice. I used to do it back in high school. So we're out here taking a walk. There is so many people outside, but it's good to see. It's good to see. People got to get free from their home and enjoy the beautiful fresh air today, which is what we're trying to do. I am. I am. Oh, cyclist. I feel like that's in there sturdy. It is. Yeah, that is actually gold. Cool. <laughs> oh, <kind> of <laughs> Watch out, I'll do it. Get You're it. taller. Oh. oh, yeah, it actually holds. You gotta put your butt in the middle. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'll put my butt in the middle. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta sit there. No. Well, if it was like a little warmer, that's how get itchy butt. <laughs> oh, another cyclist. Mm. These ones are big too, eh? I wonder how cold that water is. One of me and Jess's favorite, we just saw some ducks. Ducks, ducks, ducks. It's crazy what a background will do, like if you're walking through the trees, how nice it makes it look. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> do the oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. no, 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 no. <laughs> My turn. My turn. Oh, nice. Oh, get right down by the water. I know. Look how thick that piece of ice is. Oh, wow. How cold do you guys think this water is here? Let's see. Oh, it's actually not that bad. It's cold, but. We got barbecuers who are, look like playing volleyball in the winter. Man, this is crazy. That is not what I'd be doing right now. Well, I respect your efforts. So we finished our walk. We're hungry now. We walk quite a bit of ways actually. I'm up to about 22,000 steps and my lady here racked in about 500, 5,000 5, in change. Simple burger today, I just got ketchup and mustard. I think I froze. I wasn't sure what I wanted yeah. and then I just ended up freezing. Wow, that's a lot of cheese. That's almost certain to muck up my belly. Wow, looks good though. Look how nice it is out. So today is day three with the new assistant. Though technically he didn't work today and today was a long day, guys, long day. I, sanitizer, oh God, sanitizer. Uh, but today was like super productive. I'm actually like extremely fucking impressed with how much me and Michael got done. He was great support today. Thank you, Michael. Working the evening shift tomorrow is going to be like a breeze. As long as the guys tomorrow morning do their part, amazing. It will be amazing. I washed two of my masks yesterday, and then I got four more. I still got to wash, so. Wearing them all day. Got to keep them clean for sure. Good. <laughs> What's up? Good morning, guys. It's Thursday. So, I am running a little late today, but I closed last night, so I know what shape the store is in, so I ain't even worried. If I'm five, ten minutes late, 
Oh my lord, it's cold. I literally sat down in the car and I realized not only did I forget my headphones, but I forgot my glasses. So I can't drive if I can't see. <sighs> Alright, so I purchased the boom arm. The guy said he put like a, a, a rush on it, which I didn't even ask for, but I do appreciate it. And he said I'll get an email saying when it's ready. And literally as soon as I got in my car, he said your order is ready for pickup. Please remain in your vehicle, wear a mask, call upon arrival at curbside. We will bring your order to your vehicle. So I'm going to give them a few minutes before I call. Oh, I want to be able to go back in the stores and shop and look and ask questions and have that human interaction but it doesn't seem like this shit will be happening anytime soon a beautiful glare traffic cars just zoning by i think the lens is dirty i gotta clean it so this like buying this boom arm i had debated because the last couple of boom arms i had bought had kind of like broken down on me and i would get frustrated and like every time i would try to adjust it like they're super dope to have and i I didn't really ever invest in like a great one, but I did. I mean, I spent like a hundred bucks, 120 bucks on one and it just, it was like garbage. So when I saw this one where it's like solid black, the framework is good. So hopefully I enjoy it. I think I will. Cause there's nothing better than doing a podcast with like a mic boom. I tried stands and all different types and it's just not as comfortable. I can't get as relaxed and it probably sounds like crazy, but it's just when you're doing a podcast, you want to be comfortable. And I found that using a boom arm is the only way that I'm truly comfortable. But underneath my nostril is like all fucking bloody. It hurts. Let's get a Q-tip, a tipper, and we're gonna sprinkle some of this on it. There you go, look at that. Oh, but I feel better now. All right, how do, let's get this. This is the worst taping I've ever seen. There we go. There's your start. All right, there it is. Got the little logo. So it's cool. And then this is the piece you clamp to the table. So, oh, look at that setup now. Kind of gets in the way of the computer, but I can kind of just like slide it out of the way. But it looks really nice. What do you think, Jess? Nice and clean? Yeah, looks good. Nice. Just, just approves. This means it is good. I'll get this out, guys. So this is Jess's half. I opted for no onions, but I might not have a slice. I'm sure I'll regret this later when my stomach is killing me. Or tomorrow morning when I get to work and I just have to go to the bathroom like crazy. But for now, I'm gonna enjoy it. Buddy, I woke up late, so now I have to get ready at work. So I figure I'll show you guys the boom. So when I say comfortable, right? You know, like anytime you're doing something, this is the beauty of a boom. It's right there. Well, it's kind of sagging right now, but like if I'm doing it, it's a right here. You can adjust it. You can play with it. You can bring it down if you want. Anytime you move, you can move the mic with you. So that's why I've tried, like I'll show you guys what I was using before. It's this like Gator uh, frame works like tabletop. This is why this doesn't work. I just prefer the boom arm. A lot of people I've done podcasts with, they prefer the tabletop stand. I fidget a lot. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. I'm constantly fidgeting. So I need the boom arm. It has like these cool little like clamps here that you pop back. So like the wire isn't dangling out, which once again makes this setup like super clean right there all the way down the back and you never actually see the wire so another advantage uh, of having this particular boom which i haven't seen in any other boom that i bought for that price point i think i paid like 125 bucks for this one and if you met if you remember earlier in the video i said i had bought something of the same price value but it was like crap it oh my god it was so bad it made this noise like and that was only after like five months of using it, six months. Could never figure out what was wrong with it. Put a little WD-40 in there, that didn't work. Like I said, I was reluctant to buy a new boom because I had just had really bad experiences with it as far as how long they last. 
but I pulled the trigger yesterday. So as of right now, super satisfied with the purchase. If you guys want, I will put the link for this particular boom in the description. Also, if you live in Toronto, Scarborough, and you want to visit the shop that sells these, it's called AV Shops at Warden and Steels. Great service, great guys that work there. And almost all the time I go there, I never leave empty handed. Whatever I go there for, I end up walking out with. So great shop.